Hi all, it's David from DP Computing. Today we've got a DL380. I'm just going to do a basic teardown and opening it up just to show you what's inside and what you can replace. Uh, just a word of warning before we go ahead with anything, please um, take static precautions and proceed at your own risk and this may void any warranty you have. Now to get into the unit, there's just a simple locking switch just here. Um, just make sure you've twisted it using a flathead screwdriver. Generally that's the lock position and if we turn it around the other way it's the unlock. You'll be able to see the little um, tags on which way is which. Once it's unlocked you can just pull that up and the top of the case itself pops open and there you can see the internals. Just before I take away the lid, if you look on the underside of the lid there's just some um, like configuration and installation guides and configuration LEDs and just some bits and pieces there which is handy so you can refer back to it if need be. Now some of these units have slightly different configurations so if yours is slightly different just um, bear with me. Uh, first off we've got the power supply down here there's actually two spots for it this one's only got one power supply in but to remove it just pull push down or on the um, I suppose maroni colour tab and grab the handle and pull it out. There you can see it just pulls out quite easily and I'll just show you there's just a little connect there. So when you push it back in, um, just make sure it goes back in the same way and you can see down here um, it goes into its proper socket so just make sure it's in properly. Here we've got all the various fans, um, if the machine's on all these fans will be lit up green, all the little LEDs. If one of them is amber that means it's failed and you can easily replace the fan, the individual fan, just by pushing down on the maroon colour tab again and pulling it out. And you can replace it easily just by doing the reverse. If you want to replace the whole lot, just these two blue tabs, pull them up and then pull the whole thing out. Um, to get it back in it's just the reverse, push it in and push it down on each end. Um, we've got again a couple more fans at the back here, again same thing, just pu push on the maroon tab and they pull out. Um, you've got the riser or PCI riser cage here, to get that out we've got some little instructions there but just twist it and they should pop up and then you can actually pull out pull up the little cage and there you can see that the, it's got three riser cards. To put it back just do the reverse of what we've done there, I'll just put that to the side. Um, here we've got some memory sockets, there's no actually memory in this one but if there was to um, get it out just push down on the, the little tabs and it'll pop out. To push it, to put them back in just um, push it in the socket and these tabs will flip up. Um, here's dual CPUs, um, to get into CPUs there's a little, uh, see these are a bit tight sometimes, uh, you may need a little hand, I just use a little flathead screwdriver and push it up. As you can see it then pops up and you can then pull out, there's another little um, socket down here, um, just push that, pull that up and the CPU itself will slide out. Um, it's the same on the other side here, you can just push that up, the little cage itself comes off and again there's a little socket or a little lever down there, just pull that up and up it pops. Um, what else is there, it's not really too much else. At the front here you've got the various drive bays um, which are accessible from the front themselves so you can't really see too much here and you've got the various connectors. Um, that's it for today. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Just leave them down in the comments field below and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching.